It's pretty obvious to me that the person who asked the question about age gap relationships, will they last? It's probably a person that either does not have a lot of experience with relationships or may be in a challenging relationship or the relationships they have had of old in their past may not have been the best type of relationships. Relationships are just people getting along. I mean, the word Generally, when we say relationships, we're talking about boy meets girl, girl meets boy. They grow up together, get married, by, have kids. That's generally what we think about the term relationships. But there are many different types of relationships. They're business relationships. They're relationships between family members. But we're not talking about those. We're specifically talking about the age gap relationship. Now, if you use other type of relationships as a basis, as a foundation to understand that people, no matter where they come from, can get along. I mean, blacks and white get along, Puerto Ricans and Americans and other people from different cultures, Russians and Americans, Ukrainians and Russians, relationships. There's so many different types. People can get along. So asking a question specifically about can an age gap relationship survive? Will it last? I mean, that's like crazy to me because it's still about two people, three people, four people, five people, a community of people. People can get along when they simply choose to get along. So many of the things that happen within a, what we would call society, a normal relationship happens in an age gap relationship. It's a man and a woman. It's just as simple as that. And they come together in their relationship and have problems. Well, the reality of problems is that all problems, you know, can be dealt with. It can be handled. But really, we don't have a lot of problems in relationships. We generally have more situations. Situations are those things that come up that can be fixed. Sometimes problems are unfixable. Maybe a cheating spouse just can't handle it. It's a problem. It's not fixable. So you move on, right? But if it's a situation, it might be something that you might be able to fix in your mind. Uh, maybe assist your partner, or if you were the offender, maybe you're having your partner to assist you. See, those are situations. Those are things that change and that we can combat and fix so we can move on from it. But with the general problems in age gap relationships, it's all about respect. See, a younger woman is more likely to respect an older man because she's already learned that particular behavior in society, even within the family. Like the older brother is given more respect in the family and more responsibility or the older sister given more respect and more responsibility in the family by the younger siblings. We learn these habits. So for an older man dating a younger woman, he's going to get a lot more respect. But in our modern world, I must say that a lot of times, Older siblings in that order in the family, let's say the, the youngest or the middle child, like we're going to talk about a girl, a woman. Let's say the middle woman, she actually marries an older man. Well, see, she's got other siblings below her. So she's already in teacher mindset when she deals with everybody. You start a sentence, she almost finishes it. You have a situation, she's going to give you a solution. She's used to that. The older man in the relationship, see, he might be used to other people showing him a different level of respect. But in this relationship, because where she was and what she's learned in her life in the family, she's going to offer him many suggestions. So the older man needs to learn how to be humble. Because when you deal with a lot of people on the job, sometimes you might be an older person and your supervisor might be half your age. See, that again is a relationship. The reality that we're saying is when it comes to the age, the age doesn't really matter. Because age is what it is. We all hit those numbers in time. And we all respond differently to those numbers in time. You know, 50-year-old like today is going to be different than a 50-year-old 10 years from now. Just like a 60-year-old. When I get to 60, that's going to be a whole different experience for me at 60 than for my dad at 60. Because as we get older in this world, our bodies get weaker and our brains, our minds get a little more stronger and in tune to what's going on around us. So... In the relationship, yes, you have to be humble. You have to be willing to listen and to accept somebody else's advice, older men. And younger women, they're going to give it to you whether you want it or not. So can they last? Absolutely. It's the mindset. If you want it to last, it will last. If you do the things, the type of habits that can contribute to a healthy relationship, it will last. But if you get offended so easily because a woman made a suggestion to you or a man made a suggestion to you, you're going to have trouble because relationships about people who want to come together and solve problems because they're going to be problems. You can actually think of a relationship. You come together with another person so you can learn how to solve problems because you're not going to have relationships that are perfect.
not in this world. But I hope you enjoyed listening to this video and I hope you remember these little inputs that we say. Look forward to making more videos for you. And listen, don't forget to like and subscribe. Join our channel. We, we have a lot of interesting things to say. We want you to look at your relationships this way. What a different perspective. But all in all, we want you to have a healthy relationship and a fantastic day. Thanks for your time and we'll see you on the next video.